Hey, it's Richard Southern here, 2021 almost over. So let's take a look back at some of the big business news stories of the past year. One of the biggest impacted each and every one of us pretty much every time we went into a store. Talk about sticker shock, pretty much everything costs more these days. Take the grocery store, for example. Meat prices were rising at the fastest rate we've seen in about six years. And dairy products like milk and cheese weren't far behind. Then there's the cost of gas. Remember how it bottomed out during the early months of the pandemic? Well, all that's ancient history as prices at the pump rose more than 30% year on year. The cost of a new vehicle also spiked about 7%. So what's behind all of this? Well, first off, there's Canada's inflation rate, which reached its highest level in 18 years. Then add in droughts, surging consumer demand, and the rising cost of transportation, and all those pesky product shortages as well. And that leads us into one of the other top stories of 2021, the global supply chain crisis. First, there was that ship stuck sideways in the Suez Canal, which is one of the world's busiest shipping canals. But the root issues are much deeper than that. You know all that stuff we've been ordering online throughout the pandemic? Well, it has to come from somewhere, and quite often it arrives on a boat from Asia or Europe. That's led to massive backlogs at shipping ports across North America, a shortage of dock, warehouse workers, and truck drivers has only added to the problem. So while we all ended up probably with a little less money in our wallets this past year, there was one bright side. If you're an investor, 2021 was probably a pretty profitable year. The TSX, the Dow, the NASDAQ, they were all repeatedly hitting record highs, at least before the Omicron variant sent things spiraling in December. But we also saw a major shift when it comes to who controls the market. There was the meme stock craze. GameStop suddenly surged as day traders snapped up the company's stock. We also saw the rise of NFTs, non-fungible tokens, and various cryptocurrencies. Overall, many began taking their financial future into their own hands, which can be both risky and profitable. There was one other big story that grabbed business headlines in 2021, the billionaire space race. Command and start. Two, one. Amazon's Jeff Bezos and Virgin's Richard Branson were among those who blasted into space this year. Elon Musk, who hasn't made the trip himself just yet, also has a big stake in the game. So why should we care about people with too much money traveling into outer space? Well, these flights are widely considered to be early testing grounds for a multi-billion dollar space tourism industry. Branson's Virgin Galactic is already taking reservations for him to turn ordinary people into astronauts. But if you want to blast off into space, you'd better start saving now. Tickets start around $450,000. Richard Southern, City News.